What's up, guys? Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, coming to you from the arcade pinball vending coin op and all things cool auction. We're in Winston Salem, North Carolina, and today all these machines are going to be auctioned off. So, this is our official preview walkthrough video. The results video is going to go live tomorrow right here on the Galaxy Games 843 channel on YouTube. All right, so these are all the cocktail cabinets. I'm not going to go in very much in depth on all these things. Most of these are multi cades. Um, here's a Space Invaders, here's a Galaxian, and there's an Omega Race. All the rest are multi -cades. Uh Maybe not that one over there, but anyway. Not something I'm super interested in. That looks like a Nintendo... Oh, Taito Space Invaders. Okay. So there's two Space Invaders. All right, good to know. All right, down this row, Punch-Out. That's a great game, obviously. Um, uh, there's a Miss Pac-Man. It looks like it's grown in a multi cade board in there. Uh, that's a remake cabinet. Mortal Kombat looks good. Uh, here's a 20-year reunion. That's good. That's a remake cabinet. Basically, anything that has these little coin doors like this, those are all remade cabinets. So I'm not really going to highlight those. Nothing with the little coin doors. So if you see them, you can call them out in the comments. But again, nothing we're really going to highlight. I thought this was cool. Laser Command by... What's the manufacturer? Meadows Games, 1976. There you go. That's pretty cool. Basically, almost 50 years old. Nice. Here's a nice Atari Pac-Mania. Look at that. Alright, what else we got? Um, lots of small coin door stuff. Here's a Allied's Paddle Ball. Looks like that's also from the 70s. That's kind of cool. Got a Batman Driver. MotoGP. Daytona USA. Here's a Breakout cabinet. That's an early model game for sure. And then more uh, more redone stuff over here. There's a couple pool tables, air hockey, stuff like that, some foosball. All right, next row, there's bulk vending racks kind of out in the middle. And we're going to go down the row and look at all these different claw machines and things like that. So we've got, it says World's Greatest Hamburgers in the back. Don't know if that was maybe in a Fuddruckers or something like that. Here's a prize vault, a nice looking toy soldier. Those beautiful LEDs on it. Looks like it is throwing an error code though. I don't know if you see that. Throwing an error code, unless one of the LEDs is out. I don't know. Let's see if we can test it real quick. Is there a button inside to test it? Uh, is there a free play button? No free play button. All right. Well, I'll test it off camera and we'll see. Um, a couple of the machines look like they came out of a Walmart. Here's a play to win. It's got the uh, the player one amusement tag on it. So that probably came from a Walmart. Here's a drop the hook. Bike rally. Uh, this machine was kind of neat, I thought. It was a cowboy shootout. Looks like it's a shooting gallery game. It's got all those uh, cool targets on it. And different fun stuff. Uh, this Libra. I, you know, when I first walked up, I thought it was like a cut-to-win type machine. But it's got vending uh, plush in there. where It's got the vending reels or coils. So you must play a game on the screen here. But it, it's all in Japanese. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that game works. Oh, uh, what else? Here's another play to win with the same tag on it. A Let's Play. Also looks like it came out of a Walmart. I've noticed a lot of Walmarts are kind of getting rid of their machines. So who knows? I do like this toy taxi here. Plus, it's loaded full of Nintendo licensed plush. That's going to go for some big money today. But how cool is that? Nintendo licensed plush there. I like it. Uh, another toy soldier right here. Looks pretty good. Nice and clean machine. A little fade in the front, but not too bad. Here's a Magic Cut. These are kind of like the single barber cuts, and the people put big, big size plush in those. Very cool. Uh, up here we got some different poker machines, slot machines, change machines, ATMs. There's some touchscreen machines up there. And again, they're uh, they're currently auctioning off all of these smalls right now. So we're gonna move, make our way over here. All right. Um, this is the pinball row. We're gonna save that for last. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you can see all the pinball machines. They got some giant. Uh, screens over here let's make our way over here there's this is all the smalls that they're auctioning off right now so we usually skip that part all right next row we got some uh, bulk vending machines here a couple two heads a uh, coin pusher and a spiral machine coming down this row um, there's a prize zone a happy house toy soldier a challenger like we have at the school a stacker key master number one a smart ticket time key master number two Keymaster number three. Keymaster number four. There's a tattoo sticker machine there too. Toy Soldier with a giant claw on it. 
There's a big boot basketball game, Dog Patrol, Bozo's Big Prize, Keymaster number five. There's five Keymasters here. Another change machine and then two more Dog Patrols. All right. Um, down there, we've got some basketball games, some skee balls, some dart boards, some puncher games like uh, the boxer, whatever you want to call them. And then over here, looks like we've got some Nintendo cabinets that have been dropped off. You know I love Nintendo cabinets. All right, here's a Popeye in a particle board cabinet. I think it's particle board. Let's look at the back. Yep, particle board cabinet. All right. Particle board cabinet. There's a Popeye in a particle board. Here's a Donkey Kong Jr. in a plywood cabinet. Okay, cool. And another Popeye. Also, this one's in a plywood cabinet too. So three Nintendo cabinets right here. You know I love my Nintendo cabinets. I'm actually working on a Donkey Kong Jr. right now. All right, maximum force, area 51, site 4. There's a Gorf converted to look like some sort of boxing game. A Burger Time converted to a Multicade. That's rough. Um, a Miss Pac-Man Galaga 20-year reunion right there. POW, Neo Geo, SCI, Cruising Exotica, Tekken Tag. And there's a bunch of drivers over here. Different driving games there. There's a Nicktoons Racing for the kids. Some pedestals right there. All right, these are some projects over here. We got uh, a Joker Poker. Look at that. Looks like that came uh, right out of a barn or something. Same with this Miss Pac-Man. A little rust on the coin door. The dust is free. There's no charge for that dust. Uh, they'll, probably th they'll probably tell us that for sure. All right, um, over here there's also another Miss Pac-Man. We showed this one on the preview live stream this morning. Uh, it works, but it looks like it needs uh, a monitor rebuild. Some caps, some focus, maybe a flyback, who knows. Definitely some capacitors there. You see how it just kind of jumps on the colors like that? All right, next row. This row is mostly claw machines. There's some coin pushers in here and some other FEC type games too. So here's a coin pusher right here. Stacker machine. Uh, a big bass wheel. There's a color match right there. A couple coin pushers. Some more bulk vending machines kind of scattered about. Some treasure chest machines. Here's some candy cranes. I do like this little fun time machine, but it's kind of small for what I would need it for. It's still kind of cool. There's a big toy soldier. And look at these, uh, these top down claw machines. These are, you play them from above, from up here, rather than from the side. And there's also a prize cube one back there. A couple sports arenas, some more gumball machines, some more prize locker type stuff and vending stuff. Some stackers, toy chests, prize time. There's some older big choice machines over here. Uh, prize time, zany zoos, some kitty rides. There's another one of those cube claw machines there. Again, more older machines over here. And another coin pusher hidden back there. All right. Two more rows, and then it's time for pinball. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. All right. Up next, we'll do this, this uh, claw machine row here. So here's another Challenger machine, like the one we have at the school. A nice-looking barber cut looks pretty clean. You know, we do really well with our barber cut machine. So we'll see what the price goes for on that. Uh, road trip. Simpsons Kooky Carnival, another stacker, a drop the hook. Here's some more kitty rides and ticket eaters. There we go. Uh, blasters, I'm not familiar with those. Here's a slam a winner, another clean sweep, older style claw machine there. Here's a nice looking hot stuff. I do like this one. Look at that prize cube machine there. That's pretty sweet. Prize cube machine, there we go. That'll go for some big money. It's got a big claw on it, though. Who knows? Uh, uh, back here, we got a toy soldier, another toy taxi. Here's a clean sweep machine here. A gift machine. I'm not familiar with that. Looks like that could be kind of cool. Uh, some token machines. Look at this Mario Kart. Is that some sort of ride? I don't know, guys. Put in the comments. Have you ever seen one of these? Is that like a Mario Kart racing ride or something? I don't know. All right, over here, there's uh, claw machines just stacking up. We got some bigger ones, we got some smaller ones. There might be a prize cube back there. I see uh, some toy taxis behind these machines. Let's take a look back here. See a couple, there's a toy taxi there. And two more toy taxis over here, plus another stacker. 
Here's a drop the hook, another stacker, a bike rally, and a dunk tank with a temple run on the end. All right, so this is the last row before pinball, so let's take a look at this row. We do have an old school vending machine. It looks like it was set up for cigarettes, all on the uh, skinny columns, so no snack machine coils there. So not something I'd be interested in, kind of old for me. Uh, what else? There's a Galaxian over here. That's kind of cool, a classic Galaxian. Here's a Project Galaga and probably a Project Centipede over here. There we go. WWF or WWE, whatever it is, Royal Rumble by Sega. Some super bikes. Area 51 Maximum Force. There's a possible Mortal Kombat converted to Tekken 3, maybe Mortal Kombat 2, I don't know. Not sure. Uh, Soul Edge in a, looks like a showcase cabinet there. A couple more things over here. And uh, any game that looks like it's old, but it's got that small coin door like, like this, for example. This Popeye is not original. The small coin door gives it away. Those are remakes there. So we don't, we're, not, we're, we're not really going to highlight those. All right, uh, what else we got over here? Not much else worth showing. House of Dead, maybe. House of Dead 3. Here's an original Pong. That's kind of cool. The Pong machine right there. And then here's a Project Miss Pac-Man. This is the later model. Or the la one of the last runs with the vinyl side art. You see the vinyl's peeling off. And it's obviously got a board issue. It's doing a dance for us. So there we go. All right. Let's go check out the pinball machines, guys. There are lots of pinball machines here. While we're walking over there, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, help out the channel, and just know that the auction results video is going to go live tomorrow, which is Sunday, the 14th of May, sometime in the late morning or early afternoon, depending on how long it takes YouTube. All right, so what do we got over here? I got to see a Bally Wizard, uh, which is a EM machine over here. There's a Batman, looks like a Williams Big Guns. A Bally Elvira and Party Monsters. An original Bally Cactus Canyon. That's kind of cool. Bally Wizard. North Star. Fun House. Theater of Magic. That's a cool one. We got a brand new in-box. Foo Fighters by Stern. I played that in Las Vegas at the show. It was really fun to play. We got a Pat Hand by Williams. Jersey Jack Limited Edition Guns N' Roses. That is the awesome machine right there. Very cool. I see a Rocky... No, that's not... That's a virtual pinball. Almost almost got me, but uh, got people standing in front of me. So that's a virtual pin there. Uh, Funhouse, The Getaway, Judge Dredd, Bally, Escape from the Lost World, Tales from the Crypt, Stargate, a James Bond Pro, new in box, Elvira and the Party Monster, Simpsons Pinball Party, <clears throat> Limited Edition Jersey Jack, Willie and Wonka are talking about Hey, how's it going? Uh, Williams Multiball, Tales from the Crypt, Hook, Elvis, Star Wars, WrestleMania, Harley Davidson, Family Guy, Simpsons Pinball Party, a Stern Star Wars home use, Pabst Can Crusher, that's different, Spider Man, and Bally Playboy, one of the older solid states. All right, it's really loud over here, so I'm going to make my way back away from the pinball machine, you guys. All right, what would you guys think? Put in the comments with a machine that you would buy if you were here at this auction today. Let me know what you like or what you'd buy. I'd love to hear it. All right, let's get away over to this kind of less crowded, less, less noisy area so we can wrap this video up. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the preview walkthrough video. Again, the results video... We'll go live tomorrow, late morning or early afternoon, depending on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, too, so you get notified when that video does go live. Thanks so much for watching. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We're going to wrap this video up right here. So hope you guys enjoyed. Another uh, video coming tonight. It's not arcade auction related. But again, the results video is coming tomorrow, so make sure you stick around, guys. All right, with that said, we're going to wrap this video up right here. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.